Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be exploring the interesting and hypothetical situation of what <laughs> what Switch games are best to play if, for whatever reason, you can't go outdoors. We've all had those situations, haven't we? It's really heavily raining outside, or you can't open your front door, or there's a global pandemic or something. All hypothetical scenarios! We're going to be looking at a number of different factors as well, not just what the best games are, or necessarily the biggest, although admittedly that is a factor, but various different things that might help with, um, being stuck inside. The tags we'll be using are here, and those, uh, they'll sort of be explained as we go along, although hopefully they should at least be so fairly self-explanatory. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling, let's dive right into things. Ah, bugger, I haven't randomized the list. I always do this, randomize! Great, hopefully that's a sensible order. Starting things off, we have Ring Fit Adventure. A really obvious contender for certain regards. For one thing, the game is obviously going to keep you active. That is kind of the whole deal of the game. You run around, you play these games, and it's all about moving along, and it really is a bloomin' chuffing hard workout. And the game itself is also just genuinely fun. Like, running around and stuff, actually having stuff happen, it's very rewarding, and it's something that I still play to this day, or at least I would have done if the living room had actually had the space in it because we've been having some renovations. The game is also absolutely massive, to the point that people have been doing speedruns, and, you know, we're talking 48 hours in a speedrun or something crazy like that. I can't remember the number off the top of my head. And the game has also very recently had a fairly substantial update, which includes things like a new rhythm game, some new voice options, you know, just a lot of, lot of things. The jogging mode where you just jog along and do your thing, it's a good. It'll give you some lovely endorphins and hopefully keep a little bit of the old, uh, this off. Next up, it's a fairly obvious choice, of course. Yes! Animal Crossing New Horizons. You knew this was coming if you were watching this video within like the month that it came out, I suppose. You're on a deserted island, you're playing around, fishing, catching bugs, planting flowers, planting trees, chatting to villagers. It is almost the definition of escapism, <laughs> seriously, like this. This nearly ticks all the boxes that we've got, all the tags we've got. It nearly, nearly ticks them all. I think it definitely has the most. It also really sucks you in, you know, it, it really sort of takes up a load of time. Not only do you feel like you're in this new world, but it, it kind of takes over all of your thoughts. You kind of forget about everything else going on around you. And also it's social, you can take it online, you can take it locally. So you can play with friends and actually have some interaction. Even, even without, even without going online with friends and stuff, even just talking to something, you know, an in-game character or something, Thing, that can sometimes help as well. It's also absolutely chuffing enormous. Now, you could argue, you know, it's one of these games without an end, of course it is, but this is also the sort of game that you are going to be playing pretty much every day if you really want to. I know I am. <laughs> I really am. And you may only play, I don't know, an hour, a couple of hours, something like that, but for those couple of hours, you are in that world, and that's every day. It's kind of like, it's kind of like dessert, you know? It's not just being alive, it's not just eating savoury. I don't actually eat many desserts. It's this delightful, small, sugary little something that you can just nibble on and eat once a day, or multiple times a day if you like, and it's just an absolute joy. It's so wonderful, so charming, it almost hurts. It really is, it's, it's up there, it's up there it's selling really well for a reason. Next up, one that I, I totally forgot to uh, add onto the list until my partner pointed it out because she is damn right. Arms. Do I have any Joy-Con? Ring Fit Adventure is definitely much more on the exercise focus of things. It's not, it's not entirely a game, you know, I mean it is a game, but you know, it's definitely very heavily focused on the whole, you know, sort of fitness thing. Whilst, <laughs> whilst ARMS is kind of going in the other direction. ARMS is basically just a game and you can just play with a standard controller, but if you do, you'll be missing out on one of those key tags, baby. Play it with a Joy-Con with motion controls and that's the only way I play it and I was amazed considering how long it's been <laughs> it's been since I've played. The amount of muscle memory I kept, it's really interesting, but you're gonna, be, you're gonna be going like this and if you really put some effort into it, which you probably end up doing because you will get into the game. It's, you know, very involving in that sense. You're gonna be going <laughs> and it may not quite be Ring Fit Adventure, but you're still gonna be moving, much more so than if you were playing 
Animal Crossing. <laughs> Not only that, but you can play it online, play it locally, get some friends involved, and it's great fun. And there's, I've, I've, I've said this so many times about this game, but there really is no other game like it. It's mental. I love it. We're kind of going on the other end of the spectrum now. Yes, Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. And do you know why this is on this list? Well, I can't remember the exact number because I did it so long ago, but I did actually look up how long it takes to complete this game. And I mean everything 100%, and it was a stupid number that will be appearing on screen now. <laughs> this game not only sucks you in and really engrosses you, I mean, it's not really escapism in the same way because it's very sort of menu orientated and teleporting and things like that. Uh, but, but the but, but the engrossing, you really get stuck into these fights. You really, really do. And that's why we've got that distinction. But you can also take it online. You can take it online. Um, you can do it locally as well if you've got another Switch. There's no uh, sort of like couch co-op on a single console multiplayer. But there is the multiplayer as an option. So it's social as well, especially if you're on a bit of the old Discord and you're saying to somebody with a gun Lance, do the thing. If you only had one game for the rest of your life and you had this, your life would nearly be set, frankly. <laughs> Arguably a slightly more obvious choice. Yes, Jackbox Party Pack. Basically any of them. This is probably one of, if not the most social game available, well, at least that I've seen in ages, and it's available on the Switch. I can't remember a game that really managed to get a large number of people really involved and naturally, that's usually better when the people are actually in the room with you, but there are ways that you can play it so that they don't have to be in the same room as you, which is really, really handy, and you can have some real fun. Especially if you were to get some, like, voice chat going on, or better yet, like, video call. That would be amazing. You'd actually feel like you were actually socializing with friends and getting involved in a game, and you can write silly things. It's brilliant. Not necessarily ideal if you've got children, although there is a family-friendly mode, but it's not as good, is it? It's not as good. This one definitely deserves a mention, if only for the fact that it's kind of one of the only other games on the Switch that really falls into the category of keeping active. I am, of course, talking about fitness boxing. Whilst ARMS is definitely a game first and foremost, and Ring Fit Adventure is kind of half game, half fitness thing, fitness boxing is definitely, definitely on the other end of the spectrum. It is definitely a fitness program, essentially. And you only need one pair of Joy-Con. You don't need any of the uh, Ring-Con or the leg strap or anything like that, which is kind of a downside to Ring Fit Adventure because it's it's also out of stock everywhere. But if you've, if you've already got it, then you're quids in, mate. I would say it definitely gives you a bit more of a workout than ARMS. Not quite as much as Ring Fit, but even so, there's also more variety because... That's kind of all it is. It's a fitness thing. It's not a stretchy arms game. If you didn't already predict that this would be on the list, then uh, think more. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I can think of few better games to give you a sense of exploration. I mean, this game will suck you in so much. The hours are going to fly by and you will feel like you're actually in Hyrule. It sucks you in. It's escapist. It's it's also just a wonderful game. A wonderful game full of so many wonderful things. And as people have said before, and I believe it was Video Game Donkey who said, the brilliant thing about it is you go in any direction and you're going the right way. And I think that was a beautifully, beautifully apt way to say it, even if he... <laughs> <laughs> uh, watch the video. It's also bloody enormous. People have put hundreds and hundreds of hours into this game. And uh, honestly, if you want if you wanted to do 100%, I wouldn't, but it, you know, I wouldn't argue with you to be honest. It's not for me, but wowzers trousers, fair play to you. Because yeah, this game is huge. 900 Korok seeds, baby. I've even actually had this myself where I was kind of stuck indoors by my own volition. We went on holiday with the idea of just getting away from it all. We we, we got a cabin and everything and we, we spent most of the holiday just sat indoors playing Breath of the Wild. Like for hours and hours. I must have put in, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, 80 hours into that game on that one week that I was away. It was mental. It's really good for that. The randomizer would do this to me, wouldn't it? It's another game very similar to the one previous, the, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This game is not only huge, engrossing, offers some real escapism, but it also has its own special tag that we're adding in called Schadenfreude, because <laughs> when you're playing the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, Whatever it is that's going on outside seems perfectly manageable compared to what's going on in this world, because, yeah, this, the, the, the world of The Witcher 3, 
It's not doing great. And I think that's probably one of the reasons that it is so engrossing and so captivating and so colossal. You know, the world building is like nothing else I've ever seen. I genuinely believe it is one of the best examples of this on any game platform ever. Not even taking games into account. I mean, it's n we're, we're almost, almost at Lord of the Rings territory. Which I don't say lightly. If you want to get stuck into a game and make the real world seem really joyful, even in some really, really tricky times, this is the game for you. Yes. Super Mario Party! Yeah! It's a Mario Party game. If you know anything about that, then you will know that it's a ruddy good time, and it is, it's very engrossing actually. You get really stuck into the game itself. You get really invested in all the shenanigans, even though a lot of it is down to random chance. And whilst, yes, there may well be some better Mario Party games out there on past systems, this is the only one available on Switch, and you know what? It's better than 10. And if tensions are running high with anyone that you live with, you can just play a bit of this and send the tensions towards the game instead because <laughs> oh this is a bit of a this is a bit, a bit of a double edged sword yeah. another game that has sucked me in like very few can do two point hospital it may not really offer any escapism but to grab your attention and to really hold your focus for hours and i mean hours at a time this game, this game can do it in spades. Running around, solving little issues here and there, trying to make things run as smoothly as possible, and inevitably <laughs> it never does, but it does offer you a tremendous amount of control as well, which is something that I appreciate. You know, you can just pause the game and say, right, what's the problem? Analyze it, think of the best solution, shimmy shimmy round, and then restart time and you're back in there and just the entire gameplay loop is absolutely engrossing. The game is also immensely, immensely joyful. Some of the stuff that, you know, people come in, you know, the, the idea that a patient would come in with a saucepan on their head, walk into a GP surgery and the GP goes, hmm, I'm gonna have to send you for more diagnostics to find out whether that really is a pan on your head. That's, I mean, it kind of infuriates me, but at the same time, it can't help but bring a smile to my face. Overcooked. Oh my god, this will drag your attention away like nothing else. And it is definitely, definitely best with friends. This is really not something that really has much of a single player draw. You can play it single player, but it's a multiplayer game through and through. The game is so simple at its core, but making sure that everything runs and runs smoothly is a real, real challenge to the point that it will really grab your attention. It's kind of like, it's almost kind of like the anti Two Point Hospital because it's almost like you're constantly struggling for control, whilst Two Point Hospital allows you to just take a breather. This doesn't, but it is only like two minutes at a time or whatever it is. If there's a game to make you practice your social and communication skills, this one is it. And you can, you, you know, you can do one or two, it doesn't really matter. We're only showing one because that's the only one I've got but I have it on good authority too, is just as tasty. We couldn't have this list without this. Nope, it's another supremely obvious one, Skyrim. If you wanna get lost in a world that isn't your own, then yeah, this can suck your entire life away. It's similar to Breath of the Wild and The Witcher in many, 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 many ways. But it does offer a unique gameplay experience as well. And in theory, if you had Breath of the Wild, The Witcher 3, and Skyrim, you'd be set for you'd be set for life. Throw Monster Hunter Ultimate Generations. Ooh, that's wrong. Throw Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate into the mix as well, and you are set for not only the rest of your life, but several others' lives as well. Seriously, the, it's just it's just an immense amount of content, and it is engrossing, maybe not quite to the same degree as the others, but even so, it's almost distracting in the sense of just how silly some things are when they happen, and that's oddly charming, and I like it a lot. And lastly, maybe not the best example for this list, but it is appropriate, Untitled Goose Game. It may not be the longest game in the world, and it really, really isn't, but I don't think I can think of a single game that offers more joy per minute than this game. It is just out and out wonderful, absolutely adorable, and just every single moment, every single little nuanced thing that you discover in that game, like honking into a milk bottle, just sends an impossibly large smile over your face. It may well be that this game only lasts you, I don't know, two, three, four hours, whatever, depending on how much you want to do, 
but those two, three or four hours are going to be some of the sweetest and most delicious that you can possibly do. And in amongst everything that may be happening, just being a goose and running around and making people's lives just a little bit irritating is just incredibly cathartic. And there you have it. That is just a handful of what we consider to be some of the best games to play if you can't go outside because it's raining. If, if you happen to hypothetically be in that sort of situation, what sort of games would you recommend? <laughs> Let us know down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you strap that subscribe button to your face purely in the name of fashion, and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>